Hey guys, Noah here, and sorry if I sound a bit weird, I'm kind of sick, because it's cold and crap like that. But anyway, I am here to review the um, Star Wars Black Series GameStop exclusive Supreme Leader Snoke Deluxe, I think he's called. Um, let me check. No, he's just called Supreme Leader Snoke Throne Room. This isn't really a, th a th throne room. Uh, um, <laughs> this is his throne. So, uh, let's check out his throne with, uh, before the figure. So let's just take him out of there. Let's lay him down. And here's the throne. Um, it has, it, it comes in two parts. You basically get the foot thing where he rests his feet. And you plug that in. Then you got the full throne. As you can see, there's not a lot of paint on it. I could go in and paint up more, but honestly, I don't really think that I need to. Um, all the paint that really needs to be there is, well, there. Uh, there's that blue line there. Um, again, blue right over there, but red and orange over here. Again, on the side, there's blue and red. This side, there's, again, the same thing. Uh, I thought there was less, uh, oh, wait, yeah. There's another thing up here that's blue and red, and then you got the back of the chair. Or the, uh, what do you call that? The, um, the part that you lean back on. Here's the actual back of the chair. It's completely un, um, unpainted, which, why would it have to be? Uh, you're probably gonna not display it like this with uh, Snoke sitting like that. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on to Snoke. Let me just straighten him out here. Um, and uh, the one problem I had with... Well, the main problem I had with Snoke in um, The Last Jedi was... Uh, Number one, uh, the end, um, where he, how he died, um, I honestly don't think that they should have killed him off. He's possibly, possibly not dead, which, if he's not dead, then we get more Snoke and more backstory for him, because at the moment, we barely know a thing about him. Um, and also, uh, well, his robe. Why? Why is it gold? Why not why not black? Why is it he looks like a freaking um he it looks like a bathrobe, honestly. And he can barely stand up. I don't know if this is just mine, but he barely stands up. Watch. I his feet are flat. I swear. Well they aren't flat, they're curved up at the toes, but I'm, I'm literally trying to stand him up. And then you get him in these crazy poses where one foot is back behind, super far behind the front foot. And then he's like leaning to one side, which I honestly couldn't care less for. Um, But this figure, he's not even going to stand. I'm just going to have to hold him like a little baby for the rest of the review. Okay, I did it. I got him to stand. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, for sculpt and paint and whatnot, let's start off at his feet. Which, um, actually, we can take. Uh, we can pull up the robe and see. They even sculpted over here some like uh, scars into or jagged out points into like his his pants and stuff. I don't know if this was intentional. But I think I found out why he doesn't like standing. <clears throat> his his legs are completely straight down. As you can see, this one is bent. Oh my god. Anyway, for other sculpt, you got his actual leg, which is tan and pinkish and whatnot. And you got his slippers. Why? And if you go and watch the movie... Whenever he walks, he's wearing these freaking slippers, but you hear loud footsteps when he walks in slippers. Why? 
Um, other sculpts, this little thing, I don't really like this. This is like his belt. I think they, that Hasbro should have made this out of, out of cloth, in st or like an elastic cloth material. Because when you sit him down, it just gets in the way, and it, and it came in the box, um, curved like that. So whenever I sit him down, it curves in between his feet like that, and it looks freaking weird. But, um, other sculpt, uh, his, his inside, uh, shirt is sculpted kind of nicely, I guess. Uh, his arms, again, I don't know why Hasbro keeps doing this, but they give all the characters that don't need double side, double jointed arms, double jointed arms, like Stormtroopers and, um, Luke and Leia, because, oh, their arms are covered up by, um, uh, cloth. It doesn't matter. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. It doesn't matter about if they're covered up by cloth. Uh, it works for the black, or for Marvel Legends. You shouldn't have to give only specific characters like Yoda. Why does Yoda have double jointed arms? And Darth Vader doesn't. Because they don't, they're cheap with the Black Series, okay? And that's bullcrap right there. I don't... It's just rude to people that actually love collecting this line. <coughs> me, me, and you get disappointing articulation joints where you can have Snoke do this, but you can't have a Stormtrooper completely grab his gun in a pose that's holding it with both hands, barely. And make it look good. Unless you get an OT. An original trilogy stormtrooper. And don't get one of these. This is an episode 7 version. I want to get a new episode 8 version. Because I want to fill out my ranks. Right now. But I'm not here to talk about my collection. I'll probably make a separate video about that. Just on just focusing on the Black Series collection. Anyway, back to Snoke. Uh, on his hands, um, you can see, or on his left hand, you can see a little black ring, which is obsidian from a cave beneath Darth Vader's castle on Mustafar, where Darth, er, where Anakin was de-limbed and uh, de-legged, de-handed, de-legged, whatever you want to call it. He was cut down to size by Obi-Wan uh, <laughs> on Mustafar. Now for the face, it looks nothing like Andy Serkis. And that's because it's not supposed to. Um, uh, you can see his little cracks and everything. They're painted nicely, I guess. But look at his eyes. He looks like Sloth from the Goonies with those eyes. I don't even think I have to speak about it. Yeah, they, they, this left eye is painted so horribly out of line. It's just bad. It's a bad thing. And you saw me sitting him down in the actual chair. So at this point, we're just going to um, try and get him to stand up on his little pedestal there. I don't want him to... Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, uh... Now for size comparisons, I don't have um, the tape measure with me, or the ruler, or whatnot. Um, so we're just going to compare him with the size. Okay, so here he is next to a stormtrooper. I hate you, Snoke. Stand firm. No, stop. Here, we're just going to prop you up against your chair. There, how you like that? Then we got Stormtrooper here. As you can see, significantly taller. Get your gun out of here. Here he is next to Ray. And here he is next to my episode 7 turned episode 8 Kylo. Uh, more on that in the uh, actual um, 
uh, five best figures of 2017. He's not included in it because he came out in 2016. Um, they look good together. I mean, I should probably get a new episode 8 Ray. The problem is, I, I spent my money on two of the same figure. That being two stormtroopers, because I wanted an, an I want an imperial army for Darth Vader, and hey, it it kind of worked. So he looks menacing now with his two stormtroopers that can't hit anything. I am so sorry. Um, excuse me, princess. Uh, that's gonna be it for this review. Let's see. Kylo stands good. Ray stands good. Snoke is a baby and doesn't know how to stand. I'll see you guys tomorrow with um the uh weekly update three. Three where I talk about everything that I did in this week, which was a lot. It really was a lot that I did this week. I, I'm i not going to go into detail because uh, you got to watch that video. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.